Hey everybody, it's Charmel. Today I'm here with a video and I'm going to show you guys how I lay my edges. So if you're unfamiliar and this is your first time to my channel, I have been transitioning since the beginning of the year. So I'm going into my ninth month of transitioning without a relaxer. And one of my biggest issues has been my edges. Um, just from being relaxed pretty much my whole life, I was just always used to having like, you know, nice baby hairs, nice edges, like just laid down. Um, so that's been like my biggest struggle and I've tried so many edge controls within like the past couple of months and I finally found a combination mixture of a couple of products that help me lay my edges. So I'm going to show you guys how I do that. So before we even get started, just a couple of disclaimers. Um, I want everybody to be mindful of what may work for me may not work for you a lot of it is just trial and error with your own hair another thing I am in a cooler climate um, so I don't live in a really humid hot dry heat any of that uh, we get nice weather with that being said I'm also gonna give you just a couple of tips in general that everybody should kind of practice with maintaining your leave out or edges or anything like that and the first one is less is more. If you have a kinkier, coarser, coilier hair texture, you do not want to leave out too much hair. Um, if you have too much hair out, that's when you'll experience a lot of the waving up when you gel it down or anything like that. So less is more. And the, another, the second thing is making sure your leave out remains clean. Now I know like, because I've, I know after days and days of applying product, you will get buildup. And if you have a lot of buildup, your hair will not lay as well. So this is a wig. I showed you guys this wig before. I do have a video on it. I did recolor it, but I'll leave the details about the wig down below. And this is my edge. I really don't have leave out. Most of it's braided up, but based on my hairline, I don't like to put all of my hair I don't like to braid all of my hair up. Um, this method, I do not have to straighten my little edges first. I mean, it's you always can if you wanna straighten your hair, you can do that first, but I just, I'm trying to stay away from heat, so I'm not gonna flat iron these first. Let's get started. So the product that I'm gonna be using, it's made by the Organics brand, and it's the Natural Finish Espen Estrek Texture Molding Paste. And it's this product right here. I just came across this on a fluke. Like I was just, I got it from Ulta and I was just in Ulta walking around. Think about this product, it's not a gel. It's kind of like a pasty cream type of product. And this will cause a lot of buildup. I've noticed you don't need a lot of this. So now you wanna take like a toothbrush, some kind of whatever you use for your edges. Again, another tip is if you have coarser hair, I would recommend using something that's a little more firm to smooth your hair out more. If you get like a toothbrush that's like a soft toothbrush, it won't um, slick your hair as good. So I definitely recommend something firm. And also just like you wanna keep your edges clean. You also wanna make sure you keep your styling utensils clean because just like your edges, they'll have built up product on it. And if you have a bunch of built up product, they just doesn't work as well. So I'm gonna take this brush and I'm gonna take some of that paste and I'm just gonna tap it into there. And then I'm going just to I'm gonna just start working my edges how I work them. And as you see, like when I was saying, like it's really thick, so I will work with a little bit at a time. So this is what we have so far. And as you can see, my edges are laid down very smoothly without flat ironing them first or anything. Now, although this product works really well, it still isn't the end all be all. Um, my hair will start to revert eventually. So the final thing that I like to do to just kind of seal this is use some got to be uh, styling gel. I prefer the one in the black uh, container. I feel like the yellow one gives me more 
build up and it just looks nasty so yeah as you can see it's still pretty smooth and so I'm just going to go back into my brush I squeeze a little out and just dab my brush over it also find that applying product to my brush and not directly to my hair helps a lot too um, and then I'm just going to basically go back over all the areas I added and you will start to see like because that cream stuff it does like have a lot of I don't know but it's just like you can see the product it will eventually dry um, if you don't like how it looks, you can always get like a paper towel and just kind of blot out some of the excess product. And as you can see, like the ends of my hair still kind of curl, but as far as like the edges, edges part of my hair, they stay laid pretty much all day. You can also go and tie it down with the headscarf to kind of seal it even more. But when I use the mixture of these two products, my hair pretty much stays put all day. All right, guys, so here is the final look, summer edges look. Now, I will say, I know I said I was in, like, a cooler climate, but, like, these past couple days, we have been having, like, a heat wave, and I'm going to visit relatives this, um, today, like, where it's going to be even hotter, so I'm interested to see how this will hold up today, but as you guys can see, it, it is laid down. I ended up having to put a scarf on and just kind of step off camera for a minute because I had my lights on and it's already hot and I was sweating, so it was kind of pointless the way I was doing my edges, um, but this is how I look. I posted a picture on my Instagram page. If you're not following me, definitely make sure you follow me, but this method works really well, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Again, I use the Organics Natural Finish Aspen Extract Texture Molding Paste. It comes like this. It runs for about $8, I think I paid for this. And then I also use my Got To Be Glued, the black one, to seal it. And that is how I lay my edges while I'm transitioning. Like I said, so far it's been a pretty good method for me and it works for me. Um, and I'm going to continue to use it until it stops working. So I hope this video was helpful for someone and I'll see you all next time. Bye.